All right, tough battle there. Um, you got know, some guys hurting in that locker room. They really wanted that one. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, they made a couple more plays than, than we made. You know, there's some decisions we probably could have made differently with throughout that game. I thought our guys battled through the end. I thought they showed some resiliency being down 11 and then coming back and pulling ahead. Um, you know, but, you know, tough finish. And it's a really good team. Credit to them. You know, they did. They created some explosive plays. We thought we were going to be able to take away. Uh, their quarterback's tough. We were able to get some hits on him, but he still completed passes. Um, and they, they uh, deserved a win with the way they played down the stretch and how they, how they finished. We'll start in the back, Matt. Those two fourth down calls inside the tent, why were they the calls that you made? Yeah, we felt, you know, that that was an opportunity for us to, you know, get a touchdown. And a touchdown changes the game. And obviously, we're probably not talking about if we get a touchdown. That being said, you know, the one before half is one where you really could go back and say, let's take that field goal. Um, and it's something I'm going to assess, you know, go evaluate for me. And uh, we, f we checked to see if we liked the look. We liked the look before we ran the play. We had a timeout if we didn't like the look. We liked the look, and uh, we just didn't execute. Front middle, Alec. Um, it felt like Triquez when he came in when Julio got hurt had a really did a really good job on on Odunze up until that that last drive. What you know just with the sparse playing time this year, what gave you the confidence there to rely on him and for him to step up like that? Yeah, we talk about strength and numbers a lot, and I thought some guys or several guys that stepped up. You know, we got banged up a little bit um, there and there throughout the game, and we had guys that had to come in with with limited reps and go out there and perform. And Triquez is one of them that fought and battled till the very end. From middle, James. And to 11 to go, why go for it there instead of what was the thought process and why ultimately choose to go for it? Yeah, we felt like our defense was playing well and felt like we had an offensive play that was going to be successful. You know, they covered it well. Um, but at that point, you know, they've they proven to be an explosive offense regardless of where they get the ball, right? Whether it's, you know, going the length, obviously they went there you know, twice in 33 seconds. You know, they were able to score. Gave ourselves the ball back with plenty of time to go score again. We know that that honey hole for us is really a minute 40 seconds to a minute 20. We got it back with an opportunity to go score kind of in that window. Um, but that being said, you know, it, it didn't work. So obviously it'll be second guessed. Back middle, Zach. Your impressions of Bo today, obviously uh, a losing effort, but the fact that he was able to bring you back and, and you know, Leave that come back for a little bit. And your impressions of Mo Yeah, Bo's an old, he's just a warrior. The guy's a warrior. I mean, he battles every single uh, time we step on the field. I thought he battled today. I thought he made some elite plays. Uh, at times, he did some things with his legs that he hasn't uh, had to do this season. He did really well. Um, really proud of, of his performance. I know there's a couple plays that he wants to have back, uh, but I'll go to war with that guy any day. Front right, Ashley. After they scored early in the second half to go up 11, you shut them out until that final drive they had. So what were some of the things you maybe changed defensively in the second at halftime that allowed you to shut them down for the most part in the second half? Yeah, we just talked through some adjustments that we weren't executing properly. Um, we made a couple different calls. You know, we, you know, ultimately, uh, they were connecting on some quick passing game. Um, they were able to take advantage of us in some of the run game. We changed some of our fits um, there at halftime and, and were able to handle them a little bit better uh, with those adjustments and just didn't finish it off there at the at the end. In the middle, Bill? Dan, um, philosophically, obviously we've seen you go for fourth now a ton of times since you've been here, and you know, it's worked a lot, but there have been some really hot and high visibility situations where it hasn't in games last year and now this one. Um, what is it about you as a coach that you want to go for those and you want to go kind of, I guess, with a jugular on those plays? And then when there are games like this where it doesn't work, does that make you rethink your overall philosophy in the big picture sense at all? Yeah, I think I, I'll always go back and, and uh, evaluate myself, right, and say, okay, what, what can I do different? Um, you know, that being said, you know, from probability standpoint, how we felt about the looks that we were getting, we felt like we had a chance to have success in both both situations, really, or all the situations today where we went forward on fourth, we had an opportunity to, to call a timeout if we didn't like what we saw. Uh, there was some some confusion on the last play. It was handed off. We actually had a check that didn't get uh, checked or executed properly, um, so didn't get that, you know, uh, mastered, but... Um, I'll certainly go back and evaluate myself, and I'm, it's about adapting. The game's about adapting and figuring out where you can be better. You, you take one of those field goals early on, right, and we, we are looking at probably a, a little bit different situation. In the middle, Eric. What's your conversation with Camden like? How do you keep his head up after a tough moment like that? Yeah, Camden's a winner, right? I trust Camden. I love Camden. You know, that game never should have came down to that, right? It shouldn't have came down to that. And, you know, ultimately, uh, that happens. It's a high-pressure situation. It's tough on a kicker, but he should not wear the blame on this. He, you know, certainly he has a job to do when he steps on the field. We've all seen Camden make that kick a million times, right? He didn't make it today. Uh, but, again, a good team, and if we do the things that we can do, we might get an opportunity to face those guys again. In the back, Matt. 
as the whole team. Emotional game, a big game, and next week you have another top 25 opponent. But it's just the psyche of this team right now and the importance of flushing this quick. Yeah, our guys are, are hungry to get out there and get to go perform again, you know, and, and we're going to be playing a lot of top 25 opponents the rest of the season, right? And it's a great thing about this schedule that we have. Um, we got tested. I think we're going to learn a lot of things about our team throughout this week. I, I think we have phenomenal leadership on this team. We have guys that aren't going to quit, and they're going to come to work, and we're going to go attack it. In the middle of the back, Brenna. The margins in the Pac-12 this year are so razor thin, uh, knowing that your destiny might not be in your own hands in this conference now. How does that feel? Well, I think if we take care of business on the rest of our wins, our, our destiny is we, we absolutely control our, our destiny, right? If we win out, then we're going to put ourselves in a situation to be able to play for exactly what we think we should play for. Far side middle, Joe. How would you uh, describe Kenneth's play tonight? And just look at that quarterback balance. Thing. Like, did you find yourself kind of taking that in? I mean, it was so like, talked about going in and the delivery was yeah, he's a great player. I mean, he, he showed the day, and like I said, he took some big hits and was still able to get up and perform. Um, you know, he, he utilizes his weapons well. He's He does a really good job, and it was uh, fun seeing both those guys battle today. It was a, an epic game from that standpoint. Right up here on the left. Dan, the last two years, the last couple of losses, rival games have come down to the very end. What does it take to get over the hump and win those games that come down to the very end? Yeah, we got a win in the fourth quarter. You know, um, you know, I think we did some things well um, there at the end. But you know, you're talking about being at third and one with an opportunity to get a yard, right? And really, you'd be in a you know potential victory situation, right? And getting that tough yard, got to find a way to get that tough yard, um, making sure we have the right call dialed up to be able to execute that. Um, but we're close. We're right there, and it, and that's something that it's 100% my responsibility. We got to get accomplished. But we have the guys in that room to accomplish that. In the back, Zach. Yeah, I thought in general the run game was really good today. You know, we were able to move bodies. You know, he ran really tough. Bucky ran really tough. You know, those guys fight for every inch and every yard. They did a really good job of that today. Front middle, Alec. Felt like you guys were able to stretch the field there in the second half to, to come back. You know, hit a lot of deep shots. What was it? Something a new look they were giving you, or was it an emphasis to come out of the half to, to hit some of those and test some deep there? Yeah, we wanted to be able to get the ball and stretch the ball down the field a little bit. You know, they played a little bit tighter to the box there when we became a little bit more of a run-heavy team too, and that's where you have to be able to stretch them vertically, and we were able to connect on some of those. Back right here. Yeah, when you just talk about um, this week learning a lot about yourselves uh, without even having to look at the film, well, what's one thing that's the most important thing to you that you want to get better at this week heading into another uh, top 25 opponent next week? Yeah, it's hard to answer that question without looking at the film. Um, you know, again, I think execution is probably something that stands out. You know, this, this, we're going to look back and see this small mistake, you know, hurt us here, this small mistake hurt us here. we got to be able to go execute, um, and, and that's probably the number one. Front right, Ashley. Obviously, there's a lot of season left to play, and there's a lot of, like you said, top 25 opponents coming up. But um, how hungry do you think these guys are to maybe make it to Vegas and want to see these guys again and get another shot at them? Well, the, ne the next game is the most important game, right? You don't put yourself in position to do that. These guys are hungry, right? They're hungry to go have success. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, but it starts with the next game, right? It starts there. You can't start worrying about that now. On the middle, James. To go back to the fourth and three again. I understand you're playing the percentages, and you certainly feel advantageous there. If, because you analyze this stuff so deeply, if you punt and it's even a touchback, what is the percentage? What is the marginal difference of if they have to drive the field 80 yards with two minutes to go and no timeouts, you win 55, 60, 65, and you felt like you had a chance on that pass at 70 ish percent? Like, what, what is the difference between those? Scenarios? Yeah, there's a difference, right? And we, we played to the differences, right? They, um, you know, again, I, I think we can all look back now and say, hey, you should have punted, right? If you get the fourth down, the game's over, right? We capitalize and finish the game. So they're an explosive offense. We don't necessarily know if there's a big difference in them from 75 compared to 50 yards with the ability they have to be able to put the ball down the field uh, and stretch the field. We felt like it was more, more advantageous to be able to close the game out. Um, again, going back, you don't want to take the negative play on third down, right? You want to be able to get, you know, pushed it vertical, um, and get the first down on third and one. In the middle, Eric. Are, are you pleased with the, the play calls in those spots, or is it just execution? Like, what, what, what? Yeah, I'll have to go back and watch everything, but I thought our, both of our coordinators prepared you know, our guys to execute well. Uh, I think this game's 100% on me. Right? I don't think you guys got to look anywhere else besides me. You know, I think every one of us can look and uh, look at the decisions that were made today, and again, if you can make some of those decisions differently, like I said, if you kick the field goal before half, uh, you kick the field goal somewhere else, then that it could have been a different result. Um, you never know how the rest of the game's going to play out, so you make those decisions based on the information you have. In the back, Matt. That, that, 
last, the, fourth, the fourth down is the end of the half. Um, you said you wanted to keep the timeout. Is that why you guys didn't run the ball when it was third? Yeah, that's the that's the decision that we talked about as a staff. Like that's one where you love to be able to run it in. Um, and I think if we went back and did it all over it again, when you're in in with the way we've been running the ball, um, you'd love to take an opportunity to run the ball there. Back left, Warren. Dan, I know it's tough to look at your defense right now, but overall, how do you think they played overall, especially against Mike? I think um, they're an explosive team that we just played, and they're going to have some success. I thought they you know, were able to toughen up in the second half and execute the way we were asking them to execute and be able to execute the calls. I mean, you're going to go back and, again, see on film some miscommunication that hurt us in the first half. Um, but overall, I thought those guys battled, and they fought tough. You know, he doesn't make it easy for you to have opportunities to get hands on him, and he does a good job throwing guys open um, and finding the open receiver. He did a really good job of that today. Time for two more, James. To the receivers at 100 yard days, they've done that to a lot of people. How did you feel like your secondary matched up with them? And any initial word on Jaleel from what looked like a right hand wrist kind of situation? Yeah, I don't know yet on uh, Jaleel. Um, overall, I thought there was a lot of guys that rolled in our secondary force today, and I thought our guys, you know, battled. Um, there's some of those battles we want to have back. Right, they, they made some phenomenal contested catches where, hey, that's good coverage. Their guy made the play, um, and there's some times where we were able to break it up. You know, you hope at the end of the day we did feel like you have to have bodies on bodies on these guys to be able to break some of those up, and they won more of those battles today. Last question on the left, Jared. Yeah, it's sort of the same question just about Troy and what he gave you guys today, especially that 49 yarder to kind of spark you up. And just what, what did you make of his performance overall? Yeah, from what I saw from Troy, I thought he battled, you know, from the beginning of the game all the way to the very end. Um, worked his ever living tail off to, to give us a chance to have success. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.